Hey guys, Gina back with another Vintage Christmas unboxing. These are all items that I have been collecting over the past year. I've been sticking them in a random box and the box has just been filling up and filling up. <laughs> and these are things that I've grabbed from estate sales, thrift stores, and yard sales. I haven't gone to too many estate sales this year. Went to a couple of them but maybe only a handful. There just doesn't seem to be many this year that had like tons of holiday stuff, so I kind of passed on the other ones. I have been going to a lot of yard sales though. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're dry, but we always seem to come home with a little bit of something each week. So I grabbed a couple more things off of the top of the box and we will go through them right now. All right, let's check this out. Okay, we have an old vintage ornament. I want to say this is a Bradford ornament only because it's plastic, but it does have this satin inside of it. I'm going to say this is a little extra detail somebody put on there. We've got some old cupcake liners. Let's see. This has a barcode on it. Made in USA. I'm going to say these are from the late 80s. I think there's a couple more in here too. We got some minis. Probably just end up using those. And some open ones. Those will be fun to bake with. If you guys big Christmas cookie people, do you guys like to go all out? Do you have any fun recipes you can share with me? If you guys do, definitely send them to my Picker Treats or Hollywood Haunter Instagram. I would love some new holiday cookie recipes. I love those peanut blossom cookies with the Hershey Kisses inside. Those are my favorite Christmas cookies. Those are so good. My mom makes really awesome Christmas cookies. She makes these lemon snowflakes that are really good. Oh my gosh. Gingerbread cookies are super fun to make every Christmas time. All right, speaking of cakes and cookies, here is a Santa cake topper. <laughs> it's just thin plastic. He needs a little bath, but yeah, I picked this up probably at a yard sale. Super cute. He's gonna be fun to decorate with. If you guys saw the first or second part of this unboxing series for this year, I talked about going to an estate sale where I got an old fashioned color wheel and the lady gave it to me for free. Well, I went back and they had pulled a ton of stuff out to the curb for free. And in one of those Christmas boxes, I found this guy. It's a little Christmas tree and the rubber band came off. Um, I have to fix that again, but it closes up and inside there's a little Santa. I love these old toys and the little noise makers that they have. I don't have many Christmas noise makers. I know Halloween and New Year's, they have a ton. This one does not have a maker, does it? Oh, it just says Japan. So this is probably from the 60s. Could be from the 50s too, but it does have some plastic in it. Anyway, super cool find to find that in the trash. We have a cute little flocked sheep. Some old bell ornaments. These were made by Pyramid. Unbreakable decorative ornaments. These are really neat and you can tell they are old. They have that big chunk glitter. So these could be from the fifties probably. Then I found these, these are probably a little bit newer, but I love them. They look like big old peppermint candy canes. European craftsmen. I don't think these are glass. Are these glass? Yes, they are glass. Probably didn't know that when I picked them up, but I still would have gotten them because they're so beautiful. Some other ornaments, you guys, look at the price on this bag of old vintage <laughs> ornaments. I love it. And they're all different and they all have good variety. I'll show you a couple of them. Have this beautiful pink pine cone. This is a shiny bright. Here's kind of a bell. This reminds me of the kind my grandparents had. This is probably also a shiny bright. Something lava. <laughs> I can't even read that. It's so small. Oh, Czechoslovakia maybe? I think it says Czechoslovakia. 
For those of you who love pink in their Christmas decor, here's this one. This one's fun with the deer inside. That is really cool. I like that a lot. This one says Silent Night. It's got a little church or a schoolhouse. Let's pull this Santa one out over here. This one's neat. This one's really cool. It's got kind of a plastic top. I'm not sure how old this one is, if it's got a plastic on the top. Do you guys have any indicators for age on that one? Yeah, there are some really neat ones in here. This one's cool. If you guys can see right at the very bottom, probably not, but it's a snowman in front of a fence. That's neat. Do you guys ever make your own Christmas ornaments? Do you guys use the clear balls and then put stuff in there? Or do you guys actually paint them with blue and then put glitter on? That seems like a really fun project. Maybe I should do that with my son sometime soon. And then maybe every year we could make it a tradition and then have like a Christmas ball and then put a little date on it and then just see how they progress over the years. And then maybe by the time he's 18, he'll have a couple of ornaments for his own tree. Who knows, mommy probably won't want to give them up. <laughs> I'll be like, no, someday when you have kids on your own, then you can have them. <laughs> All right, I've got another bag. It's cute, little snowman cubs. These say China, so these are more recent, but oh my gosh, how cute is that? And I think there's another one in here too. Little Santa Claus and a snowman. I'm excited, I'm gonna put something inside of there. Some candy canes, maybe a bottle brush tree. Those are great. great. Here is a ginormous Santa cookie cutter. He's got his big old bag right there full of toys. <laughs> his big old belly. <laughs> but that is really cool. I picked this up from a yard sale, I believe. And I probably got it for 25 cents or something. But that would make one big giant gingerbread cookie. Always picking up vintage tags. Here is a whole nother bag of those. These look like these may be from the 70s or 80s. Kind of look like a Hallmark. Let's see, who did this one? Greeting cards. It's definitely a greeting cards company. But we've got that one. Oh, look at these little envelopes. Those are so cute. We've got some Victorian type ones. These are from 1980, Merrimack Company. But these are probably reproductions of Victorian Christmas decor. And since these are little cards, that's probably what the envelopes go to. But let's see what else is in here. We have some Merry Christmas. Look at those colors. That's definitely 60s or 70s. And those are little cards too. Christmas greetings. Holiday greetings. Some really pretty sleds. Yeah, I always try to pick these up whenever I come across them. I just love the old vintage tags. It reminds me of growing up, my mom always got really cute ones. Oh, that's a huge one. I'll show you guys this one. Oh, that's pretty too. I'll show you that one. That's a nice scene. Check this green one out. It's gorgeous. I will be sorting these out and adding them to my little tag sale probably on Instagram, pick or treats. All right, we've got something. Oh, hang on, hang on. What's this? <laughs> something St. Patrick's Day that needs to go in a different thing, so I probably didn't see that. But this will go in the St. Patrick's Day box. This feels like a mug. Yes, it is. All right, we've got a little dual eye Santa. This does not have a maker on it. 
but I saw it with a little jewel eye and I was like, yes, I will take that. I'm starting to have quite a collection of Santa mugs, which brings me to the next thing. Are you guys ready for this? Oh my goodness, check this out. I was at a yard sale that was basically one huge estate sale and they had stuff everywhere, but they did have the Christmas all pulled out to the front yard on the side. And I was going through some of it and people were like, oh, there's that and there's that and stuff. And I was like, these people have been here a long time. I know they're gonna have some vintage stuff. And sure enough, they had in the box, this set of four Christmas Santa mugs. Now, some of them are a little bit flaking and the red is coming off which is a good indicator that it's old and original, but these Santas are gorgeous. Let's see if I can show you these without breaking them. But can you guys see those? Whoa, <laughs> now you see them, now you don't. <laughs> Here you go. Look at those Santa mugs. And what's really cool is if you guys can see this cardboard right here, it still has the green Christmas tree stand. The box has seen better days, but I think it's still in pretty good condition for its age. Does it have a date on it? It's made in Japan. That was a lot of fun though. We were checking in tubs and boxes and drawers and all kinds of stuff. And <laughs> those are my favorite kind of yard sales where it's like, surprise, we're really in a state sale. Come in the house and look in the garage and Take whatever you can. <laughs> we want it gone. Well, guys, what did you think? Hope you enjoyed part three of this vintage Christmas unboxing. I will have for sure one more and then maybe two more, just depending on what's left in the box. But I hope you guys are enjoying this unboxing series. I will have some Christmas decorating or collection videos also to come out this month. I would like to fill December up with a lot of fun vintage Christmas. <laughs> I hope you guys are looking forward to that too. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you next time.